In this recording of Patoon, I'm going to go into more details of what specifically you can do, mostly focusing on the timeline piece. So to turn the timeline off and on, you're going to click this part that says timeline. It will turn off and you can no longer see the timeline. Click it back on. I suggest leaving it on the whole entire time so you can see exactly where your text and pictures and everything will be coming in into your video slideshow. So this first small play button just plays the one scene, so it's only gonna play this scene. If I click this big play button, it's gonna start wherever my triangle is on my timeline and play through the rest of the slideshow. So this triangle is gonna be really important for you when you're creating your Powtoon. I can add seconds and you can add up to 20 seconds per slide, as well as I can take seconds away. Now, wherever my triangle is, that's where it's going to add and take away se seconds of my slide. So I want it to be at the very end most of the time when you're adding time or taking away time because you don't want to take away random things in the middle. So you can see if I add a second, it's going to have a dark shaded area right here and go to 13 seconds now instead. So I'm going to take that away, just undo it because I don't actually want to add that time there. The next thing is if I click on one of these texts, you can see I have it set up to come in at five seconds and to go out at eight seconds. You can change where it comes in, how long. I think the automatic thing it does is make it go to the very end of your slide. And then each text and picture has different effects of it. So I'm gonna play this slide so you can see what the effects look like and then explain how they work. They would wear masks to blend in with the ghosts. Later, Samhain was called All Saints Day or All Hallows. The night before became known as All Hallows Eve or Halloween. And so a few of those effects. If we go to the witch, you can see right now I have it as a direction. So she's moving from point A to point B. And you can only move from point A to point B. There's no C or D. So it's just one movement that you want them to move to. I'm going to click on a text for right now. So automatically text comes up with the size as an easy change and the color. But then if you go into the setting buttons, you can change a lot more than that. So font, bold, italics, underline, the regular of where it's going to be left, right, or centered. You can add in bullets, opacity, so how bright or dark the color is. Effects, and then A to B, that was what the witch did, so moving from one point to another, arranging it, so you can arrange and change the layers, so move it to front, back, forward, or backward. So I'm gonna go into effects right now and show you what those look like. So it'll give you a little idea if you put your mouse over it, what the effect looks like. So this is what happens when it enters. Right now mine's on pop. And when it exits, what it looks like as well. So those are the effects. If I go back into one of the objects, the effects of objects look a little bit different. So the easy ones you can get to are swapping an object for a different one, flipping it so it's mirrored the opposite way. If I go into my settings, I have the same ones right here as I did for text. So those are the effects you can look at. Then in between each slide is a transition. So just like in the effects, you can just put your mouse over it and see what the transition looks like. You can use a different one for every single slide or use the same one, it's your choice. Last thing on this video I'm gonna show you is the sound. So in this recording, I had music in the background as well as I recorded my own voice to give information. So there's lots of music choices. Just choose the genre you like and you can choose music to put in the background. You can also add your own music in. Just make sure you're not copywriting. I can add a voiceover. So when I click add voiceover, I can upload my own or I can just record right on the slide. I suggest when you're recording that you record all of your slides and then you go back and add in like the pictures of the witch 
the text and all of that because it'll be easy to decide where you want it to be. So that is how to do some things with Powtoon. Let me know if you have any more questions.